Florida State is really the first marker in our competitive season. It's the first time we see Oxford, so that's a huge motivation uh, in terms of training. And as well, it kind of sets a benchmark as to where we are at this point in the season. Um, and going forward over the next months leading up to April, that'll be important um, in terms of gauging where we are at and uh, how much further we have to go. I think it's, it's extremely important. Um, it's the first sort of race that we have an opportunity to see where we are and benchmark ourselves against Cambridge. Um, but it's also an opportunity to go out and sort of you know, put the hard work into practice and, um, and see where we stand compared to all the you know, other international crews as well. As a squad, you want to put down a good performance to, to show everyone else how you're doing. Any opportunity we get to race over the Tideway course, which is the course we'll be racing in April, is, is a great one to take. Um, therefore, it's important in, so far as it's a practice over the course. It's also good to see how we're doing at this stage in the season. Um, sort of push the limits a little bit more. We obviously build the training up looking towards the race in April and this is just a nice mark on the, the stage. Boat race season lasts from officially September to April. Um, having these blockers like Forest Head and Trilates is an important way to break it up. Um, and anytime we have a race, it's a really great barometer in terms of where we're at. Straight back to training. Um, I mean, I think the day after the race, we've got a a nice long session and and yeah I mean I think we're gonna have some more seat racing to do to really understand what what crews are doing and how people are working at higher rates. Sean our coach loves loves the sort of data and analysis so I'm sure he's straight on that um, but I think we'll all be relaxing afterwards and probably just trying to have a bit of fun.